Um, what do you think, girl? We try and take this hole on. Oh, I guess she wants to. Oh boy, here goes nothing. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die with the Rebirth Mod. I'm the Bearded OG, and it is Horde Night Day, 11 o'clock in the morning. I went out and mined up some nitrate, some lead, some coal, and a bunch of stone, and put the large stones here in the uh, thingamadoodle, and only got like 176, so <laughs> we're going to need a lot more so than that. Um... But the other thing I was going to say, too, is that... Here, let's grab all of this stuff. Um, I hit... Uh, I finally got to the iron pick, right? So if we look here uh, in, you know, doing all that mining. We go here and we go to mining tools. Um, we're now able to make uh, the level one iron pickaxe. So uh, we, we also can make the axe as well the iron fire axe we got that actually in the last episode and also um just quick announcement i somehow or another not meaning to um disabled the trader jobs in the settings um and, and it's doubly baffling to me because if you go back to the first episode of this series not the purge series but this series uh to about six minutes into the video you can see that I set the trader max jobs to 13, which is the default, and I did not change it. But somehow, some way, somewhere <laughs> along the line, that got set to zero. And um, so Ramsey helped me, you know, figure that out. I sent him my config file, and he said that's what the issue was. And so I I turned that back to default, and now Rekt does have jobs for us. So there's nothing wrong with the game, no hey, bugs asshole. like that. You better not bring any diseases into You my store. are a diseased asshole. Um, and so now we have jobs here that we can do. Uh, but of course I'm not going to do that now because we got to get ready for the horde. Um, and so what I'm going to do, I'm also quite hungry too. I've got I got one thing of grilled meat and a couple of potatoes, which isn't going to be enough. So I need to do some hunting. And also, Rekt does have... Oh, no, wait. I can't harvest his corn. That's right. I forgot because he's invulnerable, or the trader in general is. So we're going to go make our axe and our pickaxe, and then I'm going to go back out into... You must be... Okay. Your name is Emily, and you are a... Um, what, what do you call it? A NPC... Survivor. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> My brain's not working right now. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go back and make the pickaxe and the fire axe, and then I'm going to go back out and mine several more boulders because we're going to, you know, I want a little more cobblestone than just that little pile of 100 and whatever it is for the Horde Knight, okay? And I'm just going to do that off camera. I probably will not, unless something real significant happens, I probably will not bring you back until we're ready to start the Horde Knight. Um, so, um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to cut the camera here and I'll see you guys when the Horde Night starts. I just heard a thing said you were here, Death's Whisper. I was going to do some mining and we got this big son of a bitch here. <laughs> oh, God. Um problem is I don't have a lot of ammunition so this is not good oh shit I got a broken arm I don't think we're gonna survive this <laughs> what the hell <laughs> did they put the door <laughs> shit <laughs> oh no Oh my god. Okay. Well, I think that constitutes uh, something crazy happening. <laughs> god. I was just kidding. <laughs> to go do a little bit of mining. Um, I have to 
assume these guys despawn. God, I hope so. Did they despawn? Uh, I want my pizza. I want my uh, pizza. What in the hell am I supposed to do about that? No, 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 no. Resume. Halt. Uh. I guess they're still fighting the. That survivor? Oh shit! <laughs> what the hell, man? I can't fight that thing with my weapons, let alone without them. I don't know what to do. Uh. I mean, can I get away from him? Oh. Did he? Did he despawn? No, he didn't. He's still over there. Fuck. Okay. Um. The only thing I can think of is to run like hell. Does he... Does it show him on the map? Uh-uh. Okay. Let's do this. Let's circle around. And see if we can get back to our stuff and then assess... That was, that was brutal. I mean, that was an impossible, shit, there's a bear over there. That was an impossible situation. There's no way I'm going to be able to kill that guy. Okay, so the Zombos are still here, but the boss guy isn't. Can they? Oh, God. Help. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Let's run this way. I'm infected past 5%, but I have two honeys. So, again, I guess the question is... Is the boss gone? Or is he still on the map? I hope those zombies don't attack the traders. I mean, they have really high hit points, but I don't think they're invulnerable. Holy shit. Okay. Um, I have 189 cobblestone. I was planning on just mining some more boulders. Uh, I ended up not being able to make the pick because I need iron ingots. I, could, I made the fire axe, as you can see right here, but not the pick. Um, a lot of zombies around. Okay, let's, let's move into the forest a bit and just really be on our guard. And I'm going to hit a few boulders here and hopefully those, hopefully those guys just despawn after a while. Because I mean, how in the hell am I supposed to kill something like that at this point in the game? You know what I mean? I don't even see how that's possible. Okay, we got a fort up here. Man, there's a lot of Zeeks around out in the woods. Okay. 
Let's get some more large stones. Okay, there's a bear fighting Zomba over there. Uh, I haven't seen the boss show up, so that either means he despawned or after he lost track of me, he's just kind of hanging out. I don't know which it is. We're going to slowly work our way back to the trader so I can put these stones in for more cobble and just kind of be on our guard. Um, let's take a water too because we don't, we don't want to be out of stamina. All right, let's let's get these Zeeks out of here, man. Oh, good. We can now start leveling witchcraft or uh, black magic. I mean. Okay, Goldie's health's down just. A little less than half. Resume. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, he's got full health. It seems like the Zeeks didn't... Yeah, didn't bother them. Um, I need more clay before I can keep working the forge there. All right, let's uh, do some more cobblestone rocks. See, that only gets us another 84. This must be that survivor's backpack. Okay, we got seven melee and seven ranged expertise. Well, the last place I saw that boss guy was on the other side of that farmhouse. And his little icon will show up if we get close. Oh, there he is. He's still here. Holy shit. He's just sitting there. Hmm. See, the, the problem is he's so damn fast. We could... We could try to pop a beer and take him out. But I have, I have no... Well, I have four shots. Like, that's going to do me a lot of good. We are hungry too. Um, I have one bacon and eggs. Let's take that, and we'll take a bandage. This is really bad timing. <laughs> right before the fucking horde, man. Um. What do you think, girl? We try and take this asshole on? Oh, I guess she wants to. Oh boy, here goes nothing. Um taking a beer. God, this guy's tough. Okay, Goldie's taking reasonably well. I need my stamina back.
Take another bear. Oh, we got him. Holy shit. Uh, good job, girl. Where is he supposed to like drop a crate or something? I guess not. Well, hopefully we got a metric crap ton of XP for that. Whew, that was intense. <laughs> Jesus, man. <laughs> um, all right. Let's let's go back home for a second and see if uh, you know, see if we have if I can have any other food I can make. I can't. I have nothing to eat. Shit. It's just... I was hoping to do a little bit of hunting, but, you know, we got sidetracked, like, big time. Um, well, I guess I could eat... take a vitamin and just eat some canned food. Maybe we'll do that. And that gives ten, six, five. Yeah, I I'm going to do it because... We don't have any other options, really, at this point. Okay. I don't want to start the Horde Knight with, you know, low health because we don't have food. That'll probably be enough to get us all the way maxed out. Uh, yeah, I want some boards. We got some iron. We got duct tape to repair our scythe, our sickle. We got cobblestone. One of our top priorities after the Horde Knight is going to be to get the mortar and pestle. Um. Okay, well, I think we're about as prepared as we can be, which is not, doesn't feel like much, but it is what it is. So let's head on over there and see how this night goes oh I was gonna I was gonna do one thing we we got that sledge turret and I was gonna put it up on top on that little crosswalk area just to discourage them from um, thinking they can go up that way oh man almost thought I was gonna fall off the damn ladder again I think we got sickles too which means we can start leveling black magic too now Oh, by the way, I did talk to Ramsey, too, on the Discord. And he said that, you know, I, I was thinking that the sickle could, if I hit him with the sickle, it could turn him. But you have to have, you have to drink uh, a potion first. And we can't make the potion until we get the mortar and pestle. So that's why it's really important that we find that thing. Um, Okay, so let's go, let's get up here. And the only light we're going to pretty much be able to use is uh, our torch here. And I think I'll put that, let's see, shift three. Let's just put that there. And that should work. I don't have, I guess we have the buildings catching on fire turned off because that that's the default setting. Um, I think I'll upgrade this. And then what I wanted to do was put this down here. So that way, if they try and jump up here, the turret gets to them. And if we still need to bail, we can still just jump over the top of the turret. Okay. <laughs> I hope we're ready, you guys. Uh, like I said, I don't feel very ready. But it is what it is. Um... Can I? I probably can't make a hatch in my own inventory, can I? I would have. Uh, well, I could if I would have. Oh, oh, wait. I did bring the toolbox. Um. Okay. Hammer and pliers. 
Wait. Oh shit, I had the nails in my inventory. When I used this, I, I put them away. All right, well, I, I just wanted to cover this in case vultures come. I suppose what we could do is just this. Yeah, let's just do that. I mean, it's better than absolutely nothing. Okay. All right, so we're pretty much just going to use the sickle. We might do uh, some bleeds with the bone knife. Um, I want the hammer down here so I can get to it quickly. Um, so let's put that in... Let's see, let's put that in the third slot. Well, you know what? Let's just put it in the second slot because this is completely worthless to us right now. We have no ammo for it other than a couple of rounds in the... How much do we have? We have four rounds in the chamber, so yeah, that's not even gonna... So we're pretty much just doing this all night. <laughs> And we have to keep keep up on repairs. So as long as the horde's not too terribly nasty and nothing else goes wrong, I think we can get through this. I hope so. Um, we should probably put Goldie away. Um, halt. Well, let's at least keep her on halt for now, so she doesn't go running after them when they show up. All right, guys. I'll see you. Um. When the horde shows up, I'm a little nervous, not going to lie. All right, guys, uh, we are about ready to start here. Um, I am, we look at our witch doctor here. Uh, we're 10.69% away to the next, uh, to level two witch doctor. And we have the same exact number on black magic. So I'm assuming those two numbers correspond with each other. And then um, we're 78.49% on tacticals but of course we're not going to get any more xp for that tonight so all of the xp that we get tonight will go into witch doctor or black magic and black magic uh, and if we happen to get level two for the horde nights over then it'll start going into scythes okay you ready for this goldie i don't know if this is going to work <laughs> we're going to find out real quick here Oh, shit. That scared me. I, I just looked away for a second there. Okay, don't get too close. I'm just going to stand back and sickle scythe as much as we can. Keep an eye on the health of those blocks. Oh, hell, man. Oh, God! You're kidding me! Holy shit! Already? <laughs> that's it! God damn, that's a Horde 7? Well, that was the shortest Horde night I think I've ever tried to fight. Now it's a... It's a question of whether or not the house will hold up. That's why we picked this house. It's pretty stout. Oh, my God. I ran out of stamina. Went, well, and I accidentally called the the dog up there, too. Went to, to grab the hammer to repair, and they had already broken it. Holy shit. And you guys wanted me to put this on Horde Night Plus. <laughs> We are just not ready for this, man. That's all there is to it. Oh, man. How can this... Oh, it kind of keeps track of headshots and kills. That's kind of nice. Oh, no, you guys. This is not good. Can this house even stand up to this? I don't know. Holy shit. Um... Yeah, I, I can't think of anything to do. I, I don't think there is anything I can do, but just sit up here and pray. <laughs> oh, no, this is not... This episode is not going well. I mean, <laughs> first we had that boss kick the shit out of us, and now this. I mean, I thought we would be able to do a little bit of something. So, I mean, they even broke that stairway. Wow. 
Okay, well, um, I'm just, I'm just going to sit up here. I'm going to move around a little bit so they don't, you know, try and spread them out. I'll keep the camera rolling, of course. Um, and if they find a way up here, we are fucked. I mean, we are F-U-C-K-E-D. But we did cut the stairs out, right? So unless there's some alternate route for them to get up stairs or they break the blocks in some way that allows them to do that, um, we should be okay until the morning, but I would not bet money on that. Not if my life depended on it. And guess what? <laughs> it does. Oh. All right. Well, I will bring you back if something crazy happens or in the morning. Oh, shit. They're getting up here. Oh, shit. Okay. They found a way up. But... Remember, this garage is all 5,000 hit points down on the bottom. And they... What the hell? How did you get over here? Oh, shit. I can't see. Did we kill him? Where's Goldie? How did he get up here? He must have jumped across. Oh. Oh, there's a cop, too. Okay, so we do get cops on night seven. <laughs> of course we do. This is fucking uh, rebirth, man. Expect anything less? Oh, God! Oh, uh, this is not good. Resume. See, the problem is I can't see what the fuck I'm doing. So, some of them can occasionally get up here. Um... How are they doing that? Here, let's pick this up. Are they are they actually jumping across there? I don't I don't see how else they could possibly get up here. Here, let's get this on our toolbar. Fuck. Oh. I, I can't see. I cannot see what I'm doing. <laughs> what a fucking disaster. Oh my god. The one, you know, I... I had the light on my gun, but I have four rounds in my gun, so I had to use my sickle, and when as soon as I dropped the, or moved to the sickle, I couldn't see. I mean, it was pitch black. I tried to get Goldie to attack, but that didn't seem to happen. Um. All right, now what do we do? Jesus. I guess we go back home, hunker down, and... Uh, Resume halt. See if this building will hold up. I don't know what else to do. Oh, and of course we get a fucking buzzard, Resume. and I have no weapons. <laughs> Goldie, help! Goldie, please help! <laughs> no, 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 Goldie! Up back on the roof! Back on the roof! Um. I have, I have this, I have this. Where is it? Oh, God. <laughs> this is, this is a nightmare, man. <laughs> it's a complete nightmare. Oh, there's two birds. All right, well, let's harvest some buzzard carcasses because that's what you do on the horde night when you've utterly and completely failed and have nothing else to do. You just harvest dead buzzards. Oh my god. Um, we're also infected. I don't think I have... I think I have one honey back at the base. 
So that's going to be fun, too, to deal with. But that's the least of our problems right now. Let's grab these bandages. God, I hope this building holds up because all of our shit's here, man. We'll just kind of spread them around. Yeah, I I was woefully underprepared for this. I'm not I'm not really surprised knowing how rebirth is. But I mean, I didn't know, right? I I've, I've never watched anybody else do a horde night on rebirth. And you know, I, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> <laughs> and you you know you guys if you've been watching all along I haven't I don't think I've been wasting time you know I've been trying to learn the game and trying to advance and I just was not ready for this plain and simple whether it's my fault or not you know <laughs> oh Jesus okay well I guess I'll tell you the same thing. Um, can I make a torch? Let's see. Track. No, because you know what? I think I've cooked all my animal fat. Oh, man. That's a bummer, too. Okay, well, I'm just going to do the same thing, right? I'm going to sit on the roof, wait till morning, keep the camera rolling if something crazy happens. And I'll bring you back when that, when, if and when that does happen. All right, it's finally morning. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, nothing else happened. I except for that my blood pressure pretty much tanked. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make a run for it and move towards our bag. And if they catch us and kill us, you know, at least we've pulled them away from the base, right? Um, I have Goldie put away in my inventory. Okay, let's go. That was way more than I bargained for. But the, uh, you know, the building, at least the building held up nicely. So there is that. Oh, uh, how, what? How is Goldie out when she's on my toolbar? Don't get that. That's really weird. I don't know. I'm getting a couple of bags anyway, like two. <laughs> All right, let's go over here, grab that and get our stuff. Oh, all right. So first order of business is stumps. I'm 10.8. Uh, things infected. Um, let's take the one honey that we do have. Um, we also need water. We're just going to have to stay hungry for a bit. That's all there is to it. Can't do anything about that right now. And I don't... I don't think the Hordies followed us, so... Okay, so, yeah, let's go... Let's go find some stumps really quick. Uh, we're going to need... We need to find two. Because we're we were over ten. Uh, let's see. Let's put, it, put our axe here. I guess we'll just put that there. I should probably just keep that. I thought I saw something coming. I probably should just keep that on my toolbar, that sledge, so we can put it down and actually use it. Oh, that was lucky. Okay, we still need to find one more though. 
Um, uh, let's, I, I don't know why I have two goldies. That's, that doesn't make sense to me. Okay, let's put the sledge right here. Okay, let's go find another stump. It probably, if, if I tried to put her down, it probably wouldn't let me do it. You can actually have more than one companion, but you have to level up your uh, charismatic nature, I think it is. And, of course, we have no points into that at all, so. Um, once we get this infection business under control, then we'll go back to the base and see how badly they gutted it. like a aspen or a birch stump or something. All right, no honey there. No help. Here's another one. There we go. Okay. So that'll that should take care of our infection. Let's let's grab a, another one. Just so we have it, right? And we have an army base up here, too. Probably landmines in the trench, I would think. Uh, yeah, I see landmines over there. I love the look of these woods with the uh, extra trees. So cool looking. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry, guys, <laughs> that that Fortnite failed so bad. But I guess let's just call it a an education for all of us, uh, those of us anyways who have never seen... <laughs> <laughs> Rebirth or Night. Um, and I, I am not going to promise you that I'll be ready for Horde Night 14, but I will do the best that I can. Because, oh my God. <laughs> you know, I had a couple of, uh, I do have actually a couple of really good designs on my vanilla series, but they both depend primarily upon explosives to work. And uh, um, the only way that's going to happen is if we find the schematic for the pipe bombs or the grenades. We're finding, finding a decent amount of bird's nests out here. Um, so, you know, if we can come across that, preferably the pipe bombs just because they'll be cheaper to make, you know, then that's um, we can maybe consider. Um, one of the base designs, it's a tower-based design, we could probably still make that work with with melee. But man, I don't know if the cobbles how well the cobblestone will hold up. Of course, hopefully we'll have access to concrete by 14. If we don't have access to concrete by 14, I, I just don't know what we're gonna do. I honestly don't, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, right? Or fall off it. We'll just have to see how things go. We're doing a little bit of exploring out in the woods here. I haven't actually really been out of the town since we started this series. Oh, here's an iron node. I want to mark this. God, that scared me. <laughs> what the actual F, man? <laughs> Fucking moose just walked right over my head. Is it attacking the zombies? I don't need any more jump scares, man. I've had enough for this episode. And then some. Yeah, don't. 
I don't want to mess with you. All I, all I did is I looked up and I noticed some very large, hairy, furry animal was crawling over the top of my head. But it wasn't biting me, so, you know, there's that, right? Resume. That's the that's the key. It wasn't biting me or trampling or headbutting or doing any of the other things. Oh, nice little stroll out in the woods. It's peaceful after last night. There's a stump. No help. Okay, let's keep looking. There we go. Okay, so we have one honey in case we get infected again. Two zombies at the same time. Let's let the dog deal with the spider. And I will. What the? We're level nine. You got banged up a little bit there, Goldie, didn't you? There's zombie dogs out in the forest. That's good to know. Not. I mean, it's good to know that they're here. It's just not good that they're here. You guys know what I meant. Let's see, let's, I, I thought I saw maybe a structure over here. Yeah, there's some, there's something right over there. I'm glad, actually glad, glad we have that turret. Oh, I gotta, that's right, I gotta stay in range of it though. Goldie's getting kind of banged up. So let's have her Alt. stay passive for the moment. I want to see what this little shack is here. It's like a hunter blind or something. Maybe it was that guy's base and uh, didn't work out so well for me. All right, well. Guess that's all there is to that. Um, there certainly aren't a lot of. Oh, I wonder if that's a bandit. Uh, there certainly aren't a lot of um birds nests around. Uh, I did actually run into a bandit when I was mining. And he had like a blue jumpsuit on with a spear. And he was fairly tough. We killed him, of course, but I think I'd rather steer clear. I mean, I could take a vitamin right now, but our health cap is in really bad shape because of food. So, I don't know that I will do that yet. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. Not a 
motherfucker. Resume. Alright, we'll just go up. Yeah, let's avoid that bandit. Let's go up this way a little further. And then we probably better turn around and head back home. Oh god, there's a wolf. I mean, I could certainly use the meat, but... Hmm. Goldie's health is slowly coming back. I have... I got five rounds. And we have five eggs. If we come across one more egg... Oh. That's, that looks like a bandit to me. Let's go. Let's get out of these woods. <laughs> They're not very safe. Okay, let's look at the map here. Yeah, we'll start heading back towards town. Okay, yeah, there's a bandit and a zom fighting. Let's bypass them. Which way are we going? Yeah, we got to go west, southwest. Okay. This guy's fairly tough. <laughs> okay. Hang in there, Goldie. We're almost home. Almost home, girl. Yeah, our stam stamina's bad right now. Let's check this vehicle. Damaged Warthog. Nice. I don't suppose we can put that on here, though, can we? No, I wouldn't expect to be able to. Um, what the hell? I don't know what the hell that was. Um, I think we could actually put it on here, right? Yeah. Not that the sledge turret needs it necessarily. go a little bit of ammunition it looks to me like there's either burnt forest or wasteland over there neither one of those are places we want to be anywhere near um if you guys didn't know this the burnt forest is actually the most dangerous biome in rebirth even more than the wasteland Bring him out here so we can see him. Resume. Alright, let's hit the stump. There, we got some more honey.
All right, there's either a bandit or a survivor. Fighting a Zeke over that way. I can't really get a good look at him at this point. Alright, come this way, Goldie. We've got two zombies over here. Stamina is rough. Um, here, let's give you. Let's take that out and we will give you just whatever the hell right now. I don't care. Maybe I'll keep those just in case we. Across another bird's nest. Okay, let's work our way back home. And I want to see um, what they did to the inside of our base. Somebody was telling me... Uh, that's probably a survivor. That we could pick gas cans up, or gas barrels, and then set them up and shoot them to use them as bombs when a horde comes by. I think we ought to try that. I think I've, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've looted this car. Let's go check this vending machine. Um, oh. Nice. Okay, that way, that way we can make some bacon and eggs now. Let's check this. We'll grab buy both of those. So here's what we gotta do, guys. Um I gotta get my ailments under control. And then we gotta raise money to um we need to raise fifteen hundred dollars to to buy that quest. Uh, or mission to get the mortar and pestle because Ramsey says I gotta have that before I can start making the brews that I need to do the mind control stuff. All right, so this is what <laughs> this is, they destroyed our workbench, but we'll just have to use the one at the trader for now. But this is what it looks like inside. Man, oh man, this was all a big wall of servers. But the building held up pretty good overall. I don't think we were in danger of it ever collapsing. Okay. Goodness. Thank goodness it didn't come down and, you know, destroy all of our stuff, though. Halt. All right. So, um, yeah, I'm going to get myself fixed up here. And uh, we can make four bacon and eggs. That's still not going to be enough, but it'll help a little bit. Do we have a horde coming in or just... Just a few Zeeks. Okay. Resume. <laughs> I love that thing, man. It's actually quite helpful, isn't it? <laughs> it really reaches out, too. Okay, so that takes care of those assholes. Um, all right. So yeah, I'm going to uh, cut the camera here and like I said, get myself fixed up 
and go out and wrench cars, pretty much primarily wrench cars, to get the parts to sell to make the 1500 so we can then go to that mortar and pestle quest. And the plan will be to do that in the next episode. Oh. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this absolutely crazy, insane, nightmarish night. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.